Hello guys. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the response headers in rest assured. And in a previous tutorial, we learned about the status code. This time we are going to extract the response headers from the response we receive from the server and print them on the console of the application. So let's just jump right into it. What exactly are these response headers and why should we be curious about them? The response headers that we receive from the server are the part of the response that is sent by the server and they are also referred as the metadata of the response. Every response that we receive from the server may contain zero or more headers and these headers are basically in form of key and value pair. Let me just show it in the postman. We are in the postman application. We have composed a get request and sent it out to the server. The server responded back with a response body, a status code and couple of headers. These response headers are the additional information that is being conveyed by the server and they provide a more detailed context. The headers that we receive are in key value pairs as we can see over here. The key signifies the headers while the values signify each of the associated value with the respective header. What we have over here is that the information icon i which gives us more information about that particular header. And now what are exactly is the use of these headers and why do we need to know about them? Using the headers a client can take intelligent decisions. Like for example, the header that we have over here is content type. What it does is that it basically tells us how to interpret the data that is present in the body of the response. The response body that we have received is in JSON format. And thus, the application JSON has been enlisted in the value. Similarly, if the body that we received was in XML format, we would have got application slash XML as a content type header. Likewise, the headers convey additional information. And now what we are going to do next is basically replicate these headers in our rest assured code and try to print them all on the console. What we have done so far in the rest assured code is that we have written a request and we have retrieved the status code from the response. Next, what we are going to do is print out the response headers from the response. To do that, let us see what all methods are available to operate as headers on the response object that we have created. As I write header, I get a couple of method options that are available to operate on the response object. We have the foremost one get header, which asks for a parameter of string and this particular parameter if we read in the IntelliSense what it says is that it is used to fetch out a single header value which is associated with the string name that we are passing. Like if we pass the content type we will receive application JSON as the value. Likewise the next one we are getting is get headers which is basically re returning to us the response headers. Right now we are interested to print out all the headers that are available in the response and thus we will select the get headers without specifying for a particular key or response header in our case. So I will select this one. After hovering over the get headers method what we see is that the return type is headers. So I will create a variable to hold the headers that we are receiving from the response. As you can see, this particular headers is being suggested in the IntelliSense. So let us quickly import it. And what I do next is print out the headers by using sysout. I press control space and next I write headers for response R and simply invoke the variable. There we have it. I next run this as a Java application and the headers get printed out in the console of the application. The intention is that verifying if the response headers that we receive are 
the same that we received in postman i'll take just one as an example like we have the content type as application json the same is being observed in our postman and that is application json this confirms that the code that we had returned to retrieve the headers from the response is correct and it has fetched the headers which are corresponding to the ones we received in postman